What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Welcome to today's video. Today, we're just going to do a simple defensive tip on uh, another set that I like to use here, and that is having access to all of your coverages uh, within another formation. So, for example, our base formation is the nickel strong. Uh, but when we want to play max coverage defenses, uh, we want to go to a formation that looks somewhat similar to the nickel strong uh, that we can access through our audibles and our playbook. Remember, we're in the Detroit playbook, and it also has some pretty good max coverage defenses. And we need to have access to every coverage in the game, every base coverage. So the play we use for that is the nickel normal. And we like to use the two men under, cover two sink, or cover two disguise in this situation, cover three, and cover four. So when we want to play coverage defense, we're going to audible. And so for me personally, I like the cover four the most. And what I like to do is I like to grab onto these two safeties here. I like to put them in hook zones. I like to then man align and then base align. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift my linebackers to the right so that my safeties stay deep. And then I'm going to take my defensive tackles. I'm going to man them up on the inside slot receivers. And I'm going to trust my defensive ends to keep that contain on the quarterback so he can't roll out. And if he does, they're going to pursue. And then he's got nowhere to go. You see, that's what we like to do. Another thing you could do with this is... Um, Another thing you can do this, especially when you're facing mobile quarterback, is you could do the same thing with the safeties and the same thing with the defensive end or the defensive tackles. But now since Colin Kaepernick's right-handed, I'm going to drop a flat zone to the right side. It'll also do a really good job at defending the running back flat. But then I'm going to sit in the pocket, I'm going to sit in the pocket, I'm going to sit in the pocket. There's nothing open, nothing open, nothing open. And then now you see when I start to roll out, that flat zone is going to come up and pursue and I have to throw the ball away. So that's the idea with these coverage defenses, uh, the cover two or the cover three next is what we're going to talk about next. And uh, what we're going to do with the cover three is we're going to do the same exact uh, thought process here. Um, and we're gonna, but we're going to take a, a little different take on it. Again, since Colin Kaepernick is right handed, he's going to be wanting to roll to his right. So I'm going to drop Clay Matthews into a deep blue zone. I'm going to drop Banjo here into a purple or curl flat zone. I'm going to drop Pickett into that flat. And then I'm going to take um, this right of screen defensive tackle, drop him into a quarterback spy. And then I can leave the flat zone to Burnett just to kind of hold him down on the right side. So now we have two flats and a spy. And we have that deep coverage. So here I'm going to try to roll out to the weak side. And you see that that flat zone is going to hold it to a, a three or four yard gain. And then the next coverage defense we like to use is the cover two disguise. Again, we like to base a line, shift our linebackers to the right to make everything look the same. Uh, sometimes I'll even pinch this guy in to make it look like he's blitzing. Uh, for the cover two disguise, what I like to do is simply drop Brown into a man assignment on the uh, right of screen slot receiver. And then again, since Colin Kaepernick is right handed, I'm going to drop that flat zone to the right. Let Clay Matthews kind of contain the left. And uh, I'm going to sit back and kind of just say, okay, try to find a hole in this coverage defense. He's rolling, rolling, rolling. Tries to chuck it up deep, and there you see we get an interception. And these, you don't want to call these coverage defenses all game. These are to be mixed in with your pressure and with your uh, run defense and all that. It's all supposed to be mixed in with each other, but when you feel a max coverage is something you can use, then you want to go to it. Now, the next coverage defense we like to use is the two man under. And what we want to do with this is we want to um, we want to take our linebackers and we want to globally zone them. We want to then man align, base align, um, shift our linebackers to the right. We want to manually press banjo on Manningham by hitting triangle X triangle for Manningham and flick the right analog stick down for press coverage. So that way we're going to get that press all the way across the field. And then I like to drop my safeties into curl flat zones. And then depending on if I'm facing a, a fast team, I may drop Barrington into the deep blue. Uh, I may just leave him in the yellow. But uh, for this example, we'll just say, okay, we'll drop him into a deep blue. And with the two men under, how effective that coverage is, I really like to just leave four rushing. And, you know, this is kind of a, a little bit more aggressive coverage defense. But it does a, a little bit better job, in my opinion, of getting a little bit of pressure and having that great two-man under trail coverage. So that's what we like to do uh, for this defensive tip, just basically talking about having a formation that you can go to where you can access all the individual coverages so that you can effectively set up max coverage defense. Thanks for your time today, guys. If you, this video is beneficial to you, uh, please leave a like rating below and let me know what part of the video is most beneficial. Thanks for your time.